Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Chris Holt. This is going to be my first video that I make. i uh, going to be an automotive content creator and just doing this as a hobby, but let's see where it goes. I got a 2010 Chevy Camaro and a 2002 Subaru WRX, and I'm just here to take you guys along for my journey. Uh, welcome to my channel. This will be my first video coming out, and I got some new wheels for my car, and I'm just going to be out here fixing out all the scratches and repairing them. Alright, so the wheels I picked up for my Subaru are BBS wheels, and the thing that's really cool about them, they're on the STIs, but the thing is, since it's a 02 bug eye, they only came in the 5x100 bolt pattern, and all the other ones after 2004 actually uh, are 5x114.3s, but uh, they only made the STI available in the US in 2004 with those 5 by 100 wheels so that's why they're kind of a rare wheel and why I think it would look really awesome on my 2002 Bug Eye WRX. So these are the wheels that I picked up for my Bug Eye WRX right there and um, they're pretty badly pitted and curved rash so I'm going to repair them in this video and what you're going to need is a sanding block right here. So, um, I got some 80 grit right here, 80 grit sandpaper, and some 320 grit sandpaper to kind of finish them off. Then after that, we're going to need some primer, some clear, and whatever color you decide to paint your wheels. For me, I'm just going to go back to silver. Hey guys, so once you've cleaned your wheels, the next step we're going to go to to get out all these little imperfections right here and curb rashes on the wheels is we're going to start sanding it down. So make sure that you grab yourself a, a pad or whatever um, just to be able to sand it off and then we'll start sanding right here. Finish sanding the wheels, make sure that they're nice and smooth over the top. And so once they're all fully smooth like this, I'm going to run to the store and I'm going to grab myself some primer. Alright guys, so we're heading off to the uh, auto parts store I guess to get some filler primer so that we can do the first coat on the wheels to hopefully make them a little bit better. Two seconds ago, it was clear skies and sunny out, and now look at it. Pouring out rain. Gotta love the Northwest. Gotta love Seattle. Bit of an update, it started hailing. As you do. Gotta love Seattle. Look at this, not even two minutes later, nice, bright, beautiful blue skies. Crazy. So I'm editing the video right now and realized that I forgot to tell you guys that I didn't actually pick up the primer that I thought I was going to get tonight. The line just to get into the auto parts store was over an hour long. And I decided not to do it tonight, so bag it, and then I'll go first thing tomorrow morning. Heading back home and it's still blue skies. I mean, crazy how the weather changes here. Pouring down rain and hailing, and now it's a uh, nice and blue skies. Good morning, guys. Today's a new day. Hopefully, we can run to the auto parts store with not a super long line. Go get our primer and Lay down a couple coats on those wheels. So 
So I just got back from the store and got some of this filler primer and hopefully I've done a good enough job sanding them down that it should be good. I got three cans and I'll let you know how many you actually need for four 17 inch size wheels. We uh, paint primer the wheels, first thing we gotta do is clean them. So what I'm using here is I'm gonna use this hose right here, the spray hose that I have hooked up to a compressor and we'll get all the dust and all the sand debris off of the wheels. Guys, I can't stress hard enough the time that you take to prep your wheels by sanding them and masking them. The more effort you put into them, the longer lasting your wheel finish will be and the better they will end up turning out. The additional overspray that we're going to get on the tire. I'm using some old magazines that we have and I'm going to rip them out and lay them down. I'll show you when I have finished doing that. So as you can see I finished masking it out and what I found to be the best is about half to a third of a page of paper on uh, each side so that it can fully make the circle and I set it up on this painter's tart. Uh, make sure whenever you're spraying you have a little bit of a ventilated area and so I'm doing this in my garage with the garage door partially open. So with this filler primer we want to do a pretty heavy coat on our first go. We want to obviously avoid any drips or anything like that but we're going to spray about 10 to 12 inches away from the wheel and yeah the goal is to get a pretty heavy first coat and I'll let you know how it goes. Just finished coat one on wheel one. So we've done a pretty good job here. No runs, but nice and wet coat. Pretty evenly spread. Obviously it's just the first coat. So as you can see, this is kind of the gray primer fill that we've gone for and pretty, pretty gray at this point. And just after one coat, I'm pretty happy with the results so far. And so we've gone from this right here, from this right here, the silver, to gray and as you can see right here it's a pretty stark difference uh, with just one coat so I'll let the paint dry start masking this second wheel off and then hopefully get a coat on this one this one should be an interesting one I decided to leave a lot of pits on this one and quite a bit of curb rash on this one just to see sorry it's having a hard time focusing just to see how well the filler primer is actually going to do for it. So this one will be an interesting one and I'll let you guys know how it turns out after the first coat. So this right now has three coats on it and same with this one. These turned out pretty well but I'm going to take some 320 grit sandpaper and get out some of the little imperfections. They're kind of hard to see right now but um, these bottom two are a little bit more rough Still got some curb rashes like that, so I'm going to go pretty hard on the 320 grit sandpaper, but hopefully all these little stuffs will come out, and we should have some nice wheels ready for some paint. So I've been sanding this wheel quite a bit, and the thing that's kind of happening right here is the paint is taking up a lot of the, the grit from the sandpaper. So what I've decided to do is do start doing it as a wet sand. So I just grabbed a bowl of water, uh, it doesn't matter if it's warm or cold, mine, I've decided to go warm, and so I just dip my sandpaper in like so, and just kind of try and let it dry off as much of the, as much of the paint as possible before going back and sanding your wheel again. So I've wet sanded the wheel, got most of the Im big imperfections out, I'm going to run another a uh, coat of primer on here and I'll let you guys know how it looks afterwards. Hey guys, I'm just about done with the priming. I'm doing my last coat. This should be coat five and the great thing about it is only taking two uh, cans of primer total. Alright guys, I just laid the first layer of paint down on one wheel and so I'll show you the transformation. So it went from this gray primer right here on those three right here to that nice and shiny we like that that's what we're going for that's just one layer of paint and we'll see how she goes 
So we've got two coats on all these wheels right here. It turned out pretty good. I can maybe do a third coat, but I'm going to let it dry overnight with two on here. And then we'll go to clear, clear coating next. Just picked up some of this wheel gloss finisher. And I'll put it over the wheels, let you guys know how it turns out. So I just put the second la layer of clear on. And, you know, it looks pretty good. Hopefully, I'll just let them dry, and I'll let you know how they look once they're dry. So after just two coats of uh, clear, they're looking really good. So I'm going to demask them and let you know how they are. All right, this is the car right now. It's super dirty right now, and we're working on under the hood and stuff. But these are the old wheels that we got that we're replacing. And, yeah, uh, I'll hit you guys up next time. We're getting the wheels on. All right, these aren't these aren't doing it for me. We got we got to switch them. Wow, so much better. All right, so the fronts definitely need the coilovers adjusted, but it looks so much better now. And then in the back here, looks really good, really sharp. So we might even run a little bit of a spacer here because, as you can tell, the fitment isn't too great. Run a five or ten mil up here and. Same with in the front there. And my car is really dirty, so can't really tell. But I think the silvers are going to match pretty good and make for a really sharp looking car. So I hope you guys learned something or took something from my video. Uh, hopefully, we can get posting more. I'm going to do at least once a week with probably two to three on average. Um, I'm just starting out, so I'm sorry if it was a little cringy and you know not too great, well put together. But I'm trying my best. You know, I got to start somewhere, and so here's video one, and make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me anything, have a conversation with me on there, anything we can do to get the channel more views and out to more people. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.